Warning. This video contains some very advanced boy humor and a lot of <coughs> Proceed with caution and enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's up? Brad Actions here. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? Red Actions here and welcome back to this brand new video. And today we're doing something a little bit different because today I'm taking you with me in a day of my regular life, as much as you can call it regular. As you might have guessed, I am also just a normal person and I also have a life next to karting. So the first thing I have to do now is school. I have to go there by public transport. First, let's walk to the bus stop. And if you guys didn't know, I'm currently studying automotive engineering at University of Applied Sciences level. Yeah, I don't really know how to translate it from Dutch, but a little bit below university in terms of level and it is much more like applied. You actually get taught how to work in a business as an automotive engineer instead of if you were doing it at uni level, you would just learn pure science. So yeah, right now we have to catch bus 5 or bus 7, both go to Central Station and after that we'll hop on the train to Rotterdam. So let's wait for the bus. As our bus leaves there in the background, uh, we have arrived at the RDM campus and let me show you. So if you've seen our introduction week video, uh, you've also seen this place. Uh, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I'll put it in the end screen. This is where uh, the first half of our study is located, which is project. So in the project part of my studies, our class gets split in two. You get two project groups. With that, we have a whole year to, so to solve a mobility question, as it's called. And we're now halfway, uh, halfway into the year, so now we are uh, so uh, that was one of my teachers. So now we're halfway done, and uh, right now in the process we have to define our like surrounding areas, and for that we have to make like a scale model of Amsterdam, which is where we are now. And let me show you around this place. Boom! This is where I currently have school. So this is our little scale model of Amsterdam and as you can see it's not completely done yet here are all of our houses here we have you know the uh, what, what do you call them I don't know the, the little rivers going through Amsterdam and on these places we will get buildings like this yeah hello hi all right guys so I am making the road markings here and you can see that I up at some places. I think it's really difficult to use because if you press it too hard uh, it just leaks some stuff but uh, apart from that I think it looks pretty solid actually. Oh, oh, ah, 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 ah. Yeah, having a class with uh, 18 boys and only one girl is pretty funny actually. This is Riz Master Rick. Oh. Like this? Uh, like 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 this? You know what you know what you, you know what they say, eh? You can oh. check if you want. Oh yes. I took over his camera. He's working right now. He's he's working very hard on these uh, these road lines. Kind of fucked up. I think something is coming out of my pocket. Let's see what it is. Oh. <laughs> Life goals. Ah, uh, me with my Civic. <laughs> yes, but look at this thing, guys. Can you guess what this is? Let me know in the comments. If you've seen some other videos of mine, you know him. He's Tom, and uh, he's a karting driver, and he's in this school. He's actually doing automotive engineering too. He's in year two actually. If you're into karting and if you're into doing stuff and if you like physics and maths, this study really is the thing for you. There is actually quite some karting drivers in this school uh, that I know, so that's pretty funny actually. And he's the fattest of them all. Yeah guys, look at this. It's really starting to take shape now. Here you can see the layout of the uh, houses in Amsterdam. And here we can see Rizzy Rick taking some pictures. By the way, he's the guy with the semi-riced out Civic. So yeah. 
looks good I think. So the alternates between week of project, week of case, week of project, week of case. And this week's actually case week and case means uh, basically all theory. So here we get our maths, physics, smart automotive business, intelligent vehicle, efficient vehicle, everything like that we get in the case week. And that's at a different location which we're going to go to now. Time to do pee pee. It's civic, civic. Whoa, look guys, it's civic. It's a civic. It's the same as mine. <laughs> yeah, but uh, now we have to go to the different building. First, we have to catch the boat. Yes, we actually have to get to a different building by using a boat, so that's cool. You know what they say, only top G's go to school by boat. Right, guys? Oh, bottom G. <laughs> It's actually pretty wavy. It's uh, raining now quite hard actually and now we have to walk for 10 minutes to the underground station. Lachen naar het vogeltje! Voor het eerst in twee jaar zei hij. Look guys, it's a GTA 5 NPC. Alright guys, we are now descending into the back rooms as you can see by the light color. Look guys, this is what I mean with a backroom underground train. Look at this. It's also quite moist in here. And uh, and here we have one of the backroom's monsters. We have arrived. Ah. Here, uh, like I said, we have uh, our case week right now. We have the subject intelligent vehicle, which basically covers uh, all electrical systems in a vehicle, uh, like lights and stuff. We're now working on lights. Yeah, the things we do there, it's uh, it's kind of like Arduino and stuff, drawing some electrical schemes, doing some math with uh, electricity and all that stuff. After that, we'll have mathematics and uh, then the day's finished because then it will be five o'clock already. But yeah, this location is pretty cool. There we have the, uh, the uh, Euromast, which is basically the Dutch ripoff of the Eiffel Tower. And uh, that's our school building right there. Ah. Hey guys, what's up? Brett Actions here. <laughs> Let's go to IV class, yay! Goofy. Ah. Ah. It's it's break time because we just had one lesson. Ah, look, I have I have something to show you guys. Drop top Miata. No bitches. Look, this is King Julian. Big chilling. I'll fucking do the get. Ah. Are you going for the chocky? Chocky milk. Mmm. Oh oh. Chocky 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 chocky. Chocky milk. Huh. Oh. So yeah, we just said our first part of the lesson was about Arduino and uh, creating some serial communications and an OLED screen. Now we have uh, electrical yeah. screens. Oh, yeah, that's King Julian. Julian. King Julian. Ah. <laughs> the only thing that he did in this video is... Ah. Guys, we've just finished the lesson, and uh, we see a wild Bastian over there. Look! Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Chucky! <Yeah. laughs> and again, we are back with the coffee or chocky? Coffee or chocky? Chocky, 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 chocky cream. Ah, again, sixty cents. Man, ha man has money. Man is loaded. Oh, <laughs> look at the chocky action! Oh. <laughs> 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 As you can see, we are killing the wild Baftian. <coughs> we are the Corona boys. <laughs> but yeah, that was our uh, second IV lesson. Now we have mathematics. Yay. My brain has been microwaved. Please help me. Is your brain microwaved? Uh, yeah. Look at this big guy. Oh. Well, people, uh, five o'clock. School day is finished. And because it's winter and we are in the Netherlands, it's completely dark outside. But don't think this day's over because actually we have some fun, something else fun for today, which that, but that will come later. First, we have to get back to uh, Breda. Re! Ah, ah. Huh? Ah. Ah. Julian. Ah. 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 Ah.
The power of friendship. Chili, yo, 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 yo. Yo. Ja toch. Well guys, we've arrived at our bus stop, which is not my house, but it is this. Yes guys, after we're done with school, we still have to do some work on the carts, of course, because uh, if you may or may not know, I haven't driven a Rotax for almost two months now. It's kind of getting a little bit urgent that we go back out on track again, because uh, waiting for so long, that massively damages your skills. So yeah, if it's possible, I'd like to uh, have one more outing this year. It's now the 20th of December. Let's see if we can go somewhere next week. I want to go maybe on Wednesday or something. And uh, actually, let me show you guys around the workshop because most of you probably have never seen it before. And some of you have seen the old version, but it's had quite a big makeover and I still have to put some stuff back. So, this is going to be our little hall of fame. I'm going to put all of my old racing suits here on the wall, which will look really cool, of course. Here we have some old bumpers. Uh, here I'm going to make a new place for the tires. Here you can see a trophy that uh, belongs to my old mechanic, but he uh, stores them here. That's my first cart. Uh, here you can see some random rubbish that I still have to clean up. Uh, here is my uh, last cart Republic that was actually quick. Here we have toolbox. There we have uh, our exhaust which has been taken apart for now. Here we have some old parts on the right there. And uh, again more trophies, those aren't mine unfortunately. Those also belong to my old mechanic. Yeah, here we have some uh, OTK parts or parts that we still have to use. Here you can see my two sets of MXJ rims. Not a chain guard. Uh, this is, I believe, an exhaust mat. Yes, it is. Some foam for in the seat when my hurt, for, for when my uh, ribs hurt. Uh, back there we have another steering column, I think. Yeah, we do. And uh, well, here we have our uh, little charging station. Here we can charge all of the batteries that I have. So, battery one, battery two, battery three. Uh, this one's going away because it's quite old and doesn't really have that much power anymore. Uh, here you can find some of our liquids. Uh, here's all of my old seats, tires. Here is going to be our little camping spot. So here we will have the furnace, the barbecue, etc. Uh, and these trophies up here those are mine so yeah those are uh, very nice of course and the highlight of course still the p3 from the dutch championship from 2019 let's see if we can make that some more next year i hope so we're going for it anyways and uh well here are our uh, wet tires some other axles and uh two carts of course and here you can still see some crap lying around that I have to clean up. I have to clean all of this up, which is what I'm going to do tonight. So yeah, plenty of work to do. I also have to eat here because my dad's away, so I have to uh, get my own food. I'm just going to order some pizza, I think, because, uh, yeah, I can't really cook here. So, uh, yeah, let's get to work. All right, people, after a little bit of work, pizza time. And if you're wondering, Red, why did you buy two pizzas? Well, first of all, because I'm a fat bitch. Second of all, it was in a discount, so this only cost me about the price of one pizza. And then I have some lunch tomorrow, so that's nice. And uh, well, the state of the workshop right now, uh, still cleaning up some stuff. Here you can see I'm rearranging some stuff. Uh, also, I have, to, uh, of course, this huge mountain of stuff that I still have to put back in there. So uh, yeah, that's going to take a little while. But yeah, first, let's enjoy some pizza. And why are you wondering why I ordered New York pizza? Because they're the best, and why not? So yeah. Alright guys, now after doing some more work here and eating some nice pizza, time to call it a day. And the reason I made this video is not to flex on you with my lifestyle or just to, 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 you know, make you feel bad. I made this video to show you that whatever I do, you can do it too. I'm just a regular guy. Whatever it is that you want, just if you work hard enough for it and if you really put, put your back into it, you can do it too. Remember that please. So yeah, it's about uh, half past nine now. I've been going since around eight o'clock in the morning today. So uh, yeah, time to call it a day. And with that also comes the end to this video. Now, if you enjoyed it, and I would appreciate it enormously if you would consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. You know, you really help me when you do that. Also guys, keep your eyes out for the video coming on the 31st of December. You guys are probably going to like it. Not going to spoil too much about it, but I hope you guys are gonna like it. So yeah, I'm actually really lucky with my school. I really, I'm glad that I picked the school that I did. And also the introduction to my school was absolutely awesome. It's on screen right now. We went karting, it was crazy. You should go check it out. This video however is done and I'll see you all next time. Peace.